Today I'm doing a quick review of the Bag Boy Nitron Golf Push Cart. Let's get started. Hey golfers, Dave from Fit2U Golf. Um, when I started playing golf 18 years ago, I had one of those two-wheel pull carts and used that for quite a while, probably eight or nine years. Um, nothing wrong with those. I just I didn't like the imbalanced feeling that you have of one uh, arm dragging behind you. Um, so I switched to carrying, uh, you know, two-strap carrying bag. And I loved I love carrying. Um, I mean, I love the walk of golf, but I love the exercise that you got and, and the kind of the purest thing of carrying the bag. But unfortunately, uh, Mother Nature and Father Time, the cruel parents that they are, have determined that my uh, uh, hips are no longer uh, able to carry a golf bag if I want to be able to make it through the round. I didn't want to give up walking. I love the pace of walking, I love the exercise, the chance to socialize while you're walking along the course. Um, so I went with uh, a push cart. Um, I had it narrowed down to three. All are pretty similar in features and price. Um, the uh, Sun Mountain, the Click Gear, and then the Bag Boy Nitron. And the main reason I went with the Bag Boy is because of this. That's it. It's open. All you do is f flip up the handle, which is adjustable by the way, and you are ready to go. Um, I'll go over some features of the cart that that I like, but uh, one of them is not only is it quick to open, but it's quick to put the bag on. So let me get the bag. The bag goes on very easily. You just rest it on the bottom support and into the top. And then it has uh, a bungee cord system, which once you set, you are all ready to go. You just click that. Little hooks on the bungee cord. And that's it. It's securely in place. If, uh, if you opt for um, a bag boy cart or a um, day trek cart, uh, you don't even need the bungee cords. It locks right into place uh, in the, uh, the, the top support here and I'll I'll uh, take a picture of that and, and put it up so you can see that um, just to talk about the bag for a second this is uh, as you can see it's an Izzo bag um, it is a cart bag super lightweight um, I'm not sure how durable it would be on a motorized cart getting jostled around but uh, it's perfect for riding here like a queen um, I also like the bag because it has plenty of storage I'd rather have a lot of storage in the bag than a lot of stuff hanging onto the cart. Um, you may have other preferences. Um, so a couple things that I uh, really like about this particular cart. Uh, one is it has one pocket, which is perfect for your rangefinder. So you can just take it out, determine that you can never reach that flag, and uh, just put it back in. It's a lot quicker than unclipping your uh, case on your bag and putting it back in. Uh, really speedy. Um, the other is the console, and I'll put up some video and some pictures. Um, so the cup holder, very large. You can put like a, a larger thermos or Yeti or something like that in it, or just a bottle of water. The only downside is it's not insulated. There are accessories you can buy, uh, but super easy to access the water, and as I said, it accommodates a whole lot of different um, sizes. The console here, the lid, I like that it has a place for the score card uh, on the front. Clips right on. And if it's raining, it also has a place for the score card on the inside. The um, other feature I like about the, uh, the console is it has a kind of neat uh, way of keeping your pencil in place and your smartphone. So if uh, you want to use your phone to uh, either have access to it or use it to keep score, it just stays in place with this bungee cord and it's very easy to access or take out. I like that. I think it's pretty innovative. The other thing, let me see if I can just turn it a little bit, that I, I wanted in a, in a cart was um, 
a brake, a hand-operated brake. So this uh, locks the back wheels. Um, easy to easy to operate. Just brake it, and then when you're ready to go, take it off and. Uh, super easy. Uh, I'm sure the ones with foot brakes work well. I just didn't want to mess with that. And again, dealing with hip issues, didn't want to put myself in an awkward position. Um, the only con to the to the console is the magnets um, here are a little weak. Now it makes it easy to open. So you want to store balls in here during the range or your wallet or keys or whatever, that's fine. But if you're transporting this, um, if you put anything heavier than scorecards and tees in here, like balls, um, the, the weight of them will be able to pop this open and uh, things will spill out. Um, again, not an issue while you're playing, it's just that if you have the cart folded up, that can spring open. Um, uh, but other than that, really like it. Uh, comes with an umbrella holder. You can mount it on either side. Um, also a place to uh, store your umbrella with a, a bungee cord and a hook on the bottom. Uh, the uh, other thing that I really like about um, the cart is the front wheel alignment. Um, I'll say the front wheel is a pro and a con. Um, it's kind of a con that it's not a swivel wheel. I think that would be a little more um, manageable um, although this is it's not hard to you know to turn just by lifting on the handle a little bit but the pro of the front wheel is the alignment system so when you first get it or anytime you want to check the alignment uh, you roll the cart on a level surface and see if it veers one way or the other um, if it's out of alignment you just pull the wheel off it slides right off um, there's an allen wrench that comes with the cart you just a couple of turns and um, you put it back into alignment and that's really uh, convenient when you're, you know, on a level ground or a little slightly downhill and you want to just let the cart go. Uh, you know it's not going to um, take a left turn, Clyde. Um, so I like that a lot. And then uh, just as it's super easy to um, unfold or fold, uh, I'll show you that it's also super easy to fold back up. So you just simply unhook the, the snaps, the bungee cords. Take the bag off, lower the handlebar, and I like to lock it in place when it's lower. Yeah. Okay, so it's not locking in place. And then it's just push both directions, and that's it. You're ready to go. So anyway, uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, I know if you're in the market for a push cart, you watch a lot of these videos, and uh, I wanted to add one that hopefully be helpful for anybody looking for one. Uh, if you like the review, um, or you have comments about the bag features that I left out, or the cart I mean, um, post your comments below. Um, this is gonna be my last video for a little bit um, while I get some hip surgery, so while I'm recovering, you guys get out there, play some late summer, fall golf, and stay positive.